made it and it looks like I am literally the only one here. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that view. I slept at an aspen grove last night. I'll give you a little look around after I make some breakfast. It is really cold and you can even see that the camera is fogging up right now because I turned on the stove. So good morning everyone. I am gonna go check out the North Rim a little bit more. There is a road that goes down to Imperial Point and that's the highest point on the North Rim. Get some really good views of the Grand Canyon because I haven't really seen too many. There's a little bit at the visitor center and I didn't even go down to the point where you could see into the Grand Canyon because I really wanted to get my Junior Ranger badge. This is really fogging up. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the Grand Canyon today. After breakfast though, gotta eat some breakfast. Here is last night's camp. I slept in a aspen grove in the Ponderosa Pine Forest, right outside of the north rim of the Grand Canyon. It's about five miles outside of the park entrance in the Kaibab National Forest. Um, I think I went down road 611 and kind of made a few turns and ended up here. So I hope I can find my way back out. It is freaking cold. So I'm gonna go turn on the heater and warm up as we go find the North Rim. Cape Royale um, and then or maybe I'll go maybe I'll go here first okay we're gonna go to Point Imperial first because I know that that is the highest point in the park on this side so I'm gonna go check that out first and then go do the 18 miles down to uh, Cape Royale and I'll probably do a little bit of a hike down there I think I always wanted to come to the North Rim um, of the Grand Canyon because of course I saw pictures online of it being like super beautiful and then I also knew that it was less um, visited than the South Side and just the combination of those two things I wanted to come check it out and I also kind of knew that I wanted to um, explore this area of Utah and Arizona. I had, back in April, one of the last spots that I kind of hung out at before I went back to Idaho and then Washington was Marble Canyon, which is actually super close to where I am right now. And it was gorgeous. The canyon at that point on the Colorado was still around a thousand feet. So it's a, a really beautiful place to go and you go across Navajo Bridge and there's condors that live there and that was the talk that I went to last night was the condor talk. The California condor is super like they hang out at the Navajo Bridge so uh, if you want to go check that part out as you maybe come to Joshua I mean I keep saying Joshua Jacobs Lake and then down to National the National Park. I made it and it looks like I am literally the only one here at this place. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that view! Ooh. I think it's so smoky because of the wildfires going on nearby. But gosh, it is friggin' beautiful out here. Let's go check it out. I'm at Imperial Point and I am the only one here. This is crazy. Oh, over here it says that we're at 8,803 feet in elevation. This is awesome. I think there's a good view over here. Yeah, so as I was driving here um, on the main road, 
I had passed a park ranger and then I noticed about a mile later that he was behind me. And so I put on my cruise control and I went 45 perfectly the whole way and then I turned off and he didn't follow me. Crisis averted but I almost lost my cool and I don't know why. I, it's the van. And also the lady was like, I gave her my pass and she's like, oh you've been here already. And unless she saw my little, you know, handy dandy junior ranger thing, which I don't think she did, um, she's like, oh, so you don't need a map. And then um, let me go. So I was like, uh, did I do something wrong yesterday? I don't know. But we're just going to move on because obviously nothing weird is happening. Let's look at this view. Oh my gosh. Oh my gourd. The Grand Canyon Vista, highest viewpoint. So, oh my gosh, you are at the highest viewpoint looking at the deepest view. Directly east is the Nan Coweep Mesa. The Mesa drops to, oh, it was topped with the limestone. It's at 10 times 6,000 feet below here. Okay, so the river, Colorado River, is 6,000 feet below us, and that's like having the Washington Monument stacked 10 on top of each other. That's crazy. That's literally so high up, guys. I hope you can kind of see it. There's a lot of smoke in the air because of some wildfires going on uh, nearby in the Ka uh, I think it's called the Kaibab National Forest. So, but look at that! Oh man! Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Need to take a picture. I cannot believe that I have this view all to myself. This is insane. I am just in awe of what I'm looking at. Just all the different colors alone. Um, I think the very top is called the Kaibab Formation. And it's there's some like browns. Kind of, they look over here too almost looks like maybe it could be volcanic and then it kind of starts into the layers of sandstone and different formations going down uh, and then the top though is all covered in green which is super pretty I have made it to Cape Royale and there's some other people here so I'm gonna go check out what they're checking out I didn't stop along the way, but there's quite a few turnouts and different overlooks on your way out. So far, the trail out to Cape Royale is paved, and it looks like you get to walk out on that ledge way out there.
a view out here. It is incredible to be out on the north rim of the Grand Canyon looking into it. So we're looking out at Vishnu Temple and this is Wotan's throne. The snowfall, this, the snowfall is um, 12 feet on the north rim whereas on the south rim it's five feet of snow each year. There's a huge difference and that's why when you are on the north rim you can look back and see way more of the south rim because it's eroded seven miles from the river on this side whereas on the other side it's only eroded three miles from the Colorado River and that's due to all of the snow melt turning into the tributaries and eroding away at the canyon. All right, let's head on to the next thing. I hope I see some bison on the way out. And I also am hoping to get to Kanab and find a campsite for tonight. Uh, this part of the canyon didn't take me as long as I thought it would. It's cool to get to see everything in a quicker amount of time. I could do a hike. Um, but I did Angel's Landing the other day and I'm not feeling up to doing too many steep hikes. Kanab is like the kind of the biggest town nearby and I need to get some gas and the library is closed today but if I stay overnight maybe I'll hit the library tomorrow. I saw a coyote. I didn't catch it because he was pretty quick on the road but yeah I saw a coyote I think last night. I saw tons of deer last night. And I saw a lizard yesterday. This morning I've only really seen some birds and not any while I had the camera out. Oh, I did see some turkeys while I drove here. There were some turkeys. <laughs> As I'm going down the trail, I've been identifying a bunch of the plants based off of the placards I've been reading. So this is fern bush and it's got little ferns on it. This is cliff rose because it's got like really twisted bark and and limbs and then it's got little roses, little flowers on it that are not in bloom anymore. I think this is a pinion pine. It says these are currant plants. Currant and gooseberry look pretty close. And then I think that's sagebrush over there. I just saw some bison. So I'm scoping out to see if I can see any more because there wasn't a pull out to check those guys out. Okay guys, I found bison, but the parking spot was way far away. I'm at a safe viewing distance. I think those are babies. I know it's a lot later in the day than when I was last with you, but I made it to Kanab. I got some gas, and then I've just been hanging out in town since then. Haven't really gotten out of the van at all to do anything. So I just ate some dinner and working on some YouTube stuff. So I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to stay curious. Bye!